The Kronos GX is not only smaller than the standard Kronos, but offers a simplified manual for setting and configuring the clock. The basic modes, there's 12 of them, which are also preset. Four blitz modes, which right off the bat give you a five minute game. Uh, second is a two minute game with a 12 minute increment. So every time the play button is pressed, 12 seconds are added to the side. That's a popular time control seen online. Turning the clock off and back on, there's our five minute game. Accessing the third mode is a game in one minute and 30 seconds with a three second delay. Notice how the delay is indicated right here before the main time starts counting down. There's another useful blitz mode. The fourth blitz mode is a, in this case, it's a 20 second countdown with a 10 second final delay. Again, this is all configurable. Notice how there is no delay until the 10 second point is reached. Since all these times can be customized, you could set your starting time or your delays, increments, and in this case, we're illustrating a final delay. So when the final 10 seconds is reached, since the final delay is 10 seconds, it will always revert back to that unless that 10 seconds is exceeded in which the game would then be over. Notice how the indicator here is a dot, that's the flag dot. The display at the end of the game can be configured to be less prominent. Those are the main blitz modes. To look further at the blitz mode, notice how these settings can be configured. I'll go into more detail later about how to configure, but here is how the display is shown. Delay, no delay. Increment, no increment. And a final delay. That's differ, that differs from the delay on every move, as in the delay at the end of the game. Here we have beep settings, LED settings, uh, beep at end of game, halt at end of game, time stops rather than going negative, and display features, copying, that's how you save to a preset. This would copy to preset number one of 12 and back to the original. Hold down to save and you can then begin the game. To go quickly into the other modes, the tournament modes, they offer such useful features as um, in addition to delay, final delay and increment, the, the first four tournament modes are accessed by pressing the left side of the clock while turning the clock on. Here you have a 30 minute game. These are explained in the manual. There's various common time controls, so your first four presets will get you started. Uh, one's a 30 minute game, one is a one hour game, one is an hour and 30 with various time controls such as uh, 40 moves in an hour and a half, and um, so forth. Again, turning on with the left side of the clock gives you the first four tournament modes. That's one time control, two time controls, three time controls, and unlimited time controls. If we choose three time controls, there's 90 minutes. Turning on the clock, with the right side gets you the final four presets nine through 12. Those are also tournament modes. They save your move times, so you can later go back and see how much time was used per move. This is the indicator. Immediately modes two, three, four, and five. There's four modes there. Again, unlimited time controls. In this case, three, Here's the time control indicator as to which one you're in. It'll be either the, the uh, main time, first time control, second, or third. This indicates main time.
Notice a move count. This counts the moves that have been played. One should always start white side of the clock first to have a correct move count shown. Since this also saves the move times, notice 15 moves have been recorded. Here are the move times. Move 5. Again, the blitz mode is, a, is accessed by turning on the clock with the red button. The tournament modes are accessed by turning on the clock by holding down one of these side buttons for the first four and the other side button for the second four. That's a quick overview of the 12 modes that this clock offers, simplifying the, the modes that the standard Kronos offers.